Hey guys, Cody here with Anarchy Outdoors. Um, just want to take a few minutes today, an overview of one of our most popular product lines. Uh, I have here in front of me a Ruger American Predator. This particular one is in 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, everything I talk about today will work perfectly on a short action. Um, however, uh, I'll, and I'll point out too, but some, some models of the long actions uh, will have some slightly different um, features. So I'll, I'll point those out as we go along. But let's dive into this. So uh, obviously it's not a stock gun. Uh, anymore. Uh, we take a stock gun and you can kind of make it look like this. Um, I say kind of because everyone can make their gun their own. Um, so let me point out some key features here on how you can make your Ruger American Predator really stand out and really take it to the next level. Um, so if we start with, with the, the base bones here. So the stock itself. So the stock itself is obviously switched out. This is a Magpul Hunter stock. Um, for those of you who have older Ruger Americans, you may have a rotary mag. And those rotary mags are, have a high tendency to fail. And so if you're looking for a box mag conversion, this is a fantastic way to do it. Uh, very economical stock. It comes with a uh, Magpul mag as well. Uh, we've switched this out for an American Rifle Company mag. Um, we, we just believe they're a little more reliable. We really like the, the style of them. They make, a, they make it so you can put very long bullets in there. Um, so we have that stock on here. It comes in many different colors. Um, this particular one is gray. Um, one of my favorites, I think it contrasts really well, especially with the barrel and, and scope. Um, but that's really the, the, the base bones of this gun to take it to the next level. Now, as we continue onward, try to give it a little bit of flair, um, we have some different color options here. So we put a red bolt shroud on the back. And the bolt shroud, if I can show you here, has got an engraving on it. Now, most people don't know, we do engravings as well. So we can engrave that to really personalize it even that next step further. Um, I put a black handle on it and a red knob. We have all kinds of different knobs. And this particular handle, what it's gonna do is it's gonna position this knob exactly over the trigger, which is where you're gonna want it. So when you're on the gun, you can run it as quickly as possible. Now what this shroud handle and knob combination will also do is it'll actually make the bolt a little bit easier to run. It kind of tightens everything up on the Ruger to help it run just that next step higher. Um, as we move forward across the gun here, so let's look at this full port muzzle brake here. Um, it, it near seamlessly matches up with the barrel. Uh, one of my favorite upgrades It's going to reduce a lot of recoil. It looks really cool. Here I've contrasted it. We do make one that fits uh, or that matches the color of the barrel as well. So if you want it to more seamlessly look um, as part of the rifle originally, you can do the black one. I kind of like the contrast here, just as like I like the contrast here. Um, just my personal preference. I think it looks really slick. It's functional, it's functional, it's functional, but it really makes it look good. So now if we look at some more features on this gun, we have our new cheek pieces here. Cheek pieces, um, they just make it a little more comfortable. They look cool, um, especially in cold weather. A lot of people don't take this into consideration, but me being a big hunter, um, I do a lot of hunting in the cold weather, uh, which a lot of you do as well. And putting your cheek up against a cold plastic is, is not ideal. <laughs> so this is warm. And so it's gonna keep your cheek just a little bit warmer as well as add that comfort. Um, we have scope base on here. We're coming out very soon with a uh, bubble level in the back of the scope base, just like a lot of our other bubble levels. Um, just for fun, we put a zero compromise scope on here. A um, uh, very high end scope, but obviously uh, this gun is now a gun that can shoot a thousand yards. So why not put a good optic on there? Um, last, last kind of feature I'll kind of point out, um, not a lot of people put on here. Most people put a Picatinny rail, but we actually put a uh, Arca Swiss rail on the bottom of there. That particular one's made by Area 419. Um, we also put their arc lock clamp on there as well with an Atlas bipod. Makes this gun very, very sturdy, very steady um, for those thousand yard shots. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope it helps, uh, it helps you get some ideas on what you can do to make your gun extraordinary. And like always, guys, you can find all these products and many more on our website, anarchyoutdoors.com. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and uh, we'll try to get you all the videos we can.